Welcome to Wednesday Inspiration Now. Psalm 77 is a very special psalm. The psalmist is not a new believer. He has been walked with the Lord for a long time. He's been faithful and he's been intimate with God. Then we found him in deep trouble. Verse 2. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night I stretched out untiring hands, and I would not be comforted. He was in distress. He sought the Lord. At night he was praying. He lifted his hands and praying to God. But the Bible says, I will not be comforted. The New Living Translation says, my soul was not comforted. Even though he was praying, somehow he was not comforted. And then verse 3, I remember you, God, and I groaned. I meditated and my spirit grew faint. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. He could not sleep at night. He could not talk. He didn't want to talk. And he remembered God, yet he groaned. And his spirit grew faint. It's not because of his sin he was crying out. It was not because of the situation that he was crying out, but something about his own soul. We call that the dark night of the soul. Then he lifted his hands to pray and cry out to God. Verse 1, I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. In his prayer, he remembers in verse 5, I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remember my songs in the night. My heart meditated and my spirit asked. In his prayer, in his agony and his struggle, he remembered all the long time ago, what God has done, and yet his heart was in trouble and his heart is crying out for the questions they're coming from his soul. Verse 7, will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished before? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? You can see from this question, he's in pain. He's in deep turmoil. Have we ever been there? Maybe this is how we feel at times. We're crying out to God that even though the God is still there and loves us so much, yet we feel like, is he still there for me? Does he still love us? We feel like God's presence is not there and he's in the dark night of the soul. Then, out of his prayer hands, he remembered another hand. Verse 10. Then I thought, to this I will appeal the ears when the Most High stretched out his right hands. The Bible says the psalmist remembered and say, you know, I remember the great mighty hand of the Most High, our God. And his hands is stretched out to help us. He remember, Bible says in 11, I remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Indeed, when I reflect all those past, how God has been, He's been helping us. He's been leading us. He's been faithful to us. He's been loving us. I remember that He stretched out that helping us and moving us and working in us. So the psalmist confess in verse 13, Your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God. You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arm, you redeem your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. God healed us. God helped us. 
God blessed us. God's been with us. And this is what the psalmist says. I remember when I was taking my little children when they were young to the swimming pool for the first time. They are afraid to come into the water. As I am in, in the water, I said, jump in. And they were afraid to come in. I said, daddy will catch you. And they were not afraid anymore. They will be able to come in and I'll be able to catch them. As I take them to the deeper side of the water, they were not afraid because my hand, the loving father's hands, are holding them tight. Even though they let you go, our father's hand will not let you go. The mighty hand of God stretched out, help us. Heal us and save us and protect us and provide to us. I remembered the years when the Most High stretched out his right hands for us. Then, out of his praying hands, and he remembers the stretched hand of the Most High. And thirdly, he remembered the hands of those who helped you. Verse 20, you led your people like a flock by the hand of the Moses and Aaron. In fact, verse 16 through 19, the Bible talks about how God opened the Red Sea and saved Israel. And he said, you led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. It was not the hand of the Moses. It's not the Aaron who opened the Red Sea. It was God. God led you by the hand of Moses and Aaron. It was people that God used to help you. And remember those people. And the Bible says it was God Use those people to help you, to cure you, to help you, to save you. And remember those hands. My brothers and sisters in Christ, are you in dark night of the soul? You are in a deep tunnel in distress. Remember the hand of prayer. Remember the hand of the Most High stretched out for you. Remember those which God used to help you. If this is our prayer and confession to God, your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God. You are the God who performs miracles You display your power among the peoples. With your mighty arms, you redeemed your people. May God be with you and bless you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you. Even in the dark night of our soul, we lift our hands to pray. And remember your mighty hands stretched out for us. And remember hands of those you use to help us and move us. So Lord Jesus, we come to you as we lift our hands in prayer. May your mighty hands will move us, work in us, O God. That we may continually dwell in you, walk with you. Knowing that you are our God. Knowing that you love us so much. We thank you, Lord. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.